Uh, run out of rope, run out of screws, and I need to put an anchor in here. Okay, so pretty much you're gonna follow the same procedure with, as just putting a screw in, because that's all you're doing, right? So sink your tool. Really sink it so it's good. Kick yourself a stance, top a stance, do whatever. Get comfy. And start to decide where you're gonna put your screws, okay? You're gonna put two in, and they can't be too close, and they shouldn't be on the same feature, like they shouldn't be a part of the same bulge, because there's always the hazard that that huge, that one bulge can break off as a piece and then your anchor grows, okay? So as a general rule, probably 12 inches is the absolute minimum, and you should strive for a lot more than that. So I'm gonna put one right in here, and then I'll put another one straight up above here, okay? Side by side, you can do that, but up straight above each other, you're just maximizing the force because you're, you get the maximum distribution there, okay? So I, I think that's just the best way to go. So right here, start her hole. And I'm gonna put a screw in here that's easy to get started. And it doesn't have to be a long one, a short one's fine. Now this is the beauty, the real beauty of having your screws tied off like so, is once you get your threads in there, a couple turns, you can take your rope and you can get clipped in. Okay, and you can just start to relax a little bit sooner. More time when you can just breathe easy. And as I'm, as I'm putting it in, it's just getting better and better, isn't it? Right? And usually this is the time when you have to crank more, clear more, you know, really work your work to get the screw in. And so by being clipped in, you just feel a whole lot, at least I feel a whole lot more secure doing it that way. Okay. Pretty good, huh? So now that you have one screw in, you want to get clipped off to it. I'm just going to clip in here. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to clip in here. And just lean back and relax a little bit and say, okay, I'm off, fillet, secure, whatever you say. And then they can even start taking the screw out here while I'm getting ready to put my other one in. Okay, I'm a little far away here, so I'm just going to come up. Clip in a wee bit closer. You have to be really careful when you're clipped into an anchor with tape, because tape is static. And if you ever get above and fall just a short ways, and if it, you come completely onto the screw, you can exert enough force to break a carabiner, because the system is static, because there's no stretch. Okay, so it's quite. It can be quite deceiving. Okay, I'm a little shorter now, so I'm going to get my other screw in and equalize them off. Screw in here, and I'm going to make it a long one, because I want at least one long one in my anchor. This is the one problem with having your screws one above the other, is you'll end up placing one way up here. And that's why I wait to do that one second, because it's really hard to get it started up here. But I'm already clipped off to the screw, so I can just take my tool and do this bit. The old timer way, how to get screws in. something with them so you don't drop them okay if they're just stuck in here there is always the hazard that you or your buddy or a piece of ice or anything could knock them off so you can take them and you can holster them the 
probably the most secure way, I figure, or clip them off. But this is fast and it's quite secure. Okay. So now, a free beaner. Jeez, the weather looks is looking horrible. It's ugly day. Ugly, ugly. Oh, that's Joe. Oh. Sorry, Joe. Okay. I can unclip the rope from here because I'm tied off. I'm going to equalize my anchor with my long piece of presser cord. This is 7 millimeter diameter cord and it's about a 5 meter section. Okay. Now here's an for putting your gloves away, you'll find that you'll be taking your gloves on and off and on and off, and you're gonna drop your gloves sooner or later, so you should have an extra pair in your pack, okay? Because ice climbing without gloves is an unpleasant experience. So, my beautiful piece of cord here. Clip the middle here, okay? I could tie a knot and make a big loop and equalize it, but then my tying point's gonna be way down there. So I'm just gonna take these two strands Clip them in here, come down about here, and then tie my figure eight or my overhand, whatever suits me for that day. And then all this strand, these two strands here that are hanging free are a bit of a nuisance and they're kind of in the way, but your tying point's right here so it's easier to work and you got your thing chopped already. Okay. And then I'm going to transfer my anchor to here and I'm going to do it kind of a some might call semi dangerous way I'm actually going to un now if I had been thinking initially I would do that okay I can just locking carabiner rope clove hitch lock her up tighten her up and then lean back if I wanted to be even if this is too far away I can even just take this carabiner and clip it right into my tie-in loop, okay? No difference in strength there, except for the way that you're pulling on a knot a little bit, but the knot has plenty to withstand it. Then I can get this, pull up the rope. Now you're gonna wanna keep your rope with you. If there's a ledge with snow, you can just put it on the snow, but if you're hanging like this, you're gonna have to make a lap coil, okay? You don't want these coils to hang down where they can get in your crampons or else you'll step on them and mess them up. But you want them as close as you can get them. Because what you have to do is you've got to start off and make them progressively smaller so that they don't loop over each other and pull the whole mess up as one. So pretty much if you plan to make them about the same length and just don't make any longer, you'll be okay. Yeah. I'm going to clip this in. I could clip it right here, but another tie-in point here, which is acceptable in my opinion at least, is up at here, right? I'm still in all these loops. I'm into all of them. Did you guys see that? And this way, I just I'll be belaying straight off my anchor, and I have a little room to work. Okay. So I just take him. Go like so, put them through there, put the carabiner through there. Now if he falls, it auto locks and I just belay him up and stack my rope as he does. Okay, on belay!